Um, to be honest with you, it was a very challenging experience for me because trauma disease is something that's known by everyone in the country. I mean, it's got a life of its own. And to try and depict what people expect was quite scary. So to get people saying that I am exactly what they thought Zandile was is really an honor. You were an actress in, in Mubango. That's where, you know, we, we initially saw you and then um, you took a bit of a break and then Happiness Ever After came, your reality show. And um, really, um, the, the, the space in between got people sort of thinking, is Kanyimbao an actress, a, 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 a you know, reality TV star, a, a singer? Will you all, always consider yourself a, an actress above all? I mean, especially looking at the work that you've done recently and the ma many applauses that you're getting? Um, first and foremost, I'm an actress. That is my trade. Um, it's just so happened that my brand somehow took over what I do um, in terms of the lifestyle of Kanyimbao. And it, it kills me all the time when people see me on the screen because it feels like people have only seen my acting today or the last movie that I did. Um, and as, as a professional, it sometimes is a bit um, stressful when people don't know how to introduce me, whether it's a social life, whether it's a reality star. I'm an actress, guys. That is my trade. Uh, as an actress, I mean, you, you make mention now of the challenge of going into your role as Zandile Za. Yes. How is this role different to, to the others that you've played? This role frustrates me. Zandile is... This is a woman that's been in prison for over a decade. She has no knowledge of what the real world looks like. And I am from the real world. And this is a woman who has no attachment to her family. She only sees her husband that visits her once a week. So every emotion that I elect, I have to try and remember how cold someone can be, how prison can dry up someone's tears. And, you know, most of the scenes that we shot are very emotional then the director says to me but she cannot cry because she doesn't know these people so why would she cry she could be angry with being shut out from the world and not being told but it frustrates me it's very difficult um and the opera on now is hard because she's in prison she just has this window that just shows a glimpse of what the world probably looks like and this was a brief appearance uh, as Nkosana's wife in, in season one. Yes. What can we expect as the character develops in season two? Zandile is literally a villain. So you can imagine a scorned woman that left 17 years ago to come back to a fully established taxi business. But there's another woman who's sitting at the head of the table when she has sacrificed so much for the family and the love of her life. And to try and get back into that position won't be easy. And you know the dynamic between women. Women don't like each other. So there's already a situation where there's a rift between them. So it's a lot of drama um, and a lot of dark secrets that also come out and a lot of challenges between her and him. You've been quoted as saying, I mean, you also made mention now about the challenges of going into the role. And you've been quoted as saying that this role you see as one that could either make or break you. I mean, with all the, um, you know, compliments around your role, surely this now should be encouraging as we go into season two and expect to see more of this raw character with so much depth. I think it is a make it or break it for me because it's not like I started with the show from the beginning. So the show has its own DNA. Um, the Zulu that I speak and the Zulu they speak are two different, um, the dialects are totally different. That's Durban Zulu and I've got more of a Jogo Zulu. So the challenge is to try and fit in without standing out too much and being a part of the cast. It's like being the new kid in a class of kids that have been together for years. So. That is the greatest challenge, and I need to try and speed up my process of gelling in with everyone more than anyone else has. You and I are speaking right at the beginning of an exciting year, and um, we saw how 2021 unfolded for you in terms of your acting career. And when it comes to channeling other talents, what can we expect this year? Well, I think acting is going to be in the forefront um, more than anything for me this year. But other talents... 
Um, I will be producing something later on in the year that I've already started producing. Well, we started talking, we started the pre-prod now, but it's something that's an offering that's going to come. So it's more behind the scenes and me on the screen. No music. Um, I'm not going to be doing a lot of reality shows. There is an offering coming, but I think it's just my acting this year that I've got focus on. You, you've come full circle and um, you continue to bring a lot of excitement and um, a lot of questions around, you know, where to next. What advice would you give to, you know, it's quite important, I think, as we start the year to have the right mindset. So what advice would you give to, to others who may be watching and thinking, wow, Kanye's doing really well and um, channeling your mindset in achieving your goals what would you say to those your fans and many who are watching? You know, usually um, at the beginning of the year, we all look at the dreamy side of what we'd like to achieve. But you need to be honest and look at what you have now and how you can enhance it. For instance, people that want to be in our industry, look at the capabilities and what you've done. So if you've been in ads, carry on with that and work on it. Because some people feel I was in a certain ad I would like to be in a movie now, but your contacts lie in the, in, in the ad world. Fix what you have now, perfect that before you could move to the next step. Because in our industry, we hop around too much, and that was my fault. I think when I started in the industry, I was an actress, I was in movies, I was in fashion, I was in the car industry, I was controversial. You need to focus on one thing and perfect that, and once that is done, it opens other doors naturally. And, I mean, you've essentially been in and out of two countries, living in Dubai and South Africa. How have you managed that balance? Thank well, it's, it's difficult. I'd love to be in Dubai right now, but the ban has actually grounded me and made me stay in SA. Um, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. I mean, my relationship is based there. That's where my partner is. Um, but in terms of my work, it's allowed me to just focus because I have a lot of time here and I don't have to travel. So it's allowed me to work peacefully so, but please open the border. I want to leave. <laughs> so season two <laughs> is coming up. When officially do, can we tune in and, and see you uh, performing this uh, exciting character? So the 3rd of February is actually the first day of season two. But for the next three weeks, you will see Zah in and out because now Gosana has started his journey of visiting the prison. So there are going to be a few scenes in between in the next few weeks, but season two officially starts in Feb on the 3rd. Very well. Thank you so much, Kanye Mbao. Thanks for talking to us, uh, actress and reality TV star, uh, and also talking about her latest role on the popular Showmax series, The Wife. Let's give you um, a, a trailer of what The Wife is about, if you perhaps are not familiar with the scripting. It's not season two, but it gives you a glimpse of what the series is about. <laughs> Come on, that is it. Why is a whisk card so good? O cool man daughter. So is card so good. O bell man market. Action and drama and some room for love. That was the Showmax uh, uh, series, a preview of it. Uh, the wife, Tkayimba, will be part of that cast in season two.